Okay guys, today I wanted to do a real quick tutorial to show you how I take printable stickers and print and cut them with the Silhouette. So I just purchased this Aquamarine Weekly Kit from Miss Sabine Elise. I will link her shop down below. It is very pretty. So we want to get this downloaded and get it in our silhouette program and with cut lines so we can you know cut it and be ready to plan so I've already got the files downloaded I'm going to open Alright, so you've got that opened up. We want to shrink it down to a normal size. Uh, eight and a half inches by 11 is your traditional size printer paper. And that will make sure that your boxes come out the right way and all of that good stuff. So let's just do that and hit apply. This is your scale button right here. Then you just adjust the width and the height. It goes by inches, and then you just hit apply. Now it has scooted somewhere off of our screen. There it is. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we're just going to drag it back. Now, the issue that you have with these, with your silhouette, is it takes up the entire space so okay let's say I go over here and I try to add registration marks it's going to be on top of our stickers so we don't want that so what I do is I take let me zoom in okay so right here we have a solid line where there's no stickers that I'll cut off sometimes I do have to cut into a sticker um, it's not that big of a deal I just try to make sure it's not something that I really want to use so you're going to get your knife tool and drag it all the way across careful not to cut into the stickers okay so what that did is it made it into two different sections so we're going to control C on the keyboard to copy that open a new and then control V to paste it and I just flip it now, if you don't want to waste a lot of sticker paper, I suggest that you do a couple at a time or something like that, or, you know, you can cut off more shapes to add over here just to fill in that blank space. But I'm not going to worry about that today. I can delete that from over here. Oh, goodness. Okay. Drag this down. And I'm a little worried, but let's see. Okay, no, it fits. Good. Okay, so once you've got your half of a sticker sheet in here, and I'm trying to make sure it's lined up. There we go. Let's check this one. It's lined up good. Okay, so you have a couple of options. The easiest thing, oh goodness, that I have found is you can take these shapes over here, for example, and make you a shape. Now we know that Erin Condren boxes are typically one and a half inch by 1.9. So we're going to use this little scale icon here and it's sideways. So we're going to make it 1.9 by, okay, uncheck lock aspect because that's going to give us problems. Uh, 1.9 by 1.5. So and if you click right here on the cut settings, the fact that it's highlighted shows you that it's going to cut. So let's go back here. You can drag this and just put it right over your box. And that is the simple, easy two second way to 
have cut lines for your boxes. Now, these little extra boxes here, I think, are, oh darn, okay, there we go, are, if I would quit doing that, we would be good, okay, click the square, there we go. I think they're just double boxes, like they're twice as long, so I'm just going to take a box, drag it down, and there we go. Now we can fill in the rest of these. And I'm just copying and pasting this little rectangle. Control C, Control V, and There we go. Okay, now your next thing you can do, which gets a little more complicated, but it works pretty well, we're going to do the trace function to cut out these circular half boxes because they're not cornered, so we can't just do a square. I mean, you could maybe adjust this. But I'm, I'm just not sure. Let's see if that works. Well, looky there. Okay, so yeah, you can actually... Okay, let's highlight that so I can see it. Yeah, you can actually use the little... What is that? I don't know what shape that is. But you can use that to do your half boxes. Okay, now if you did want to trace something, I will show you that really quickly. You hit the little green trace window, select trace area. Now you're going to uncheck high pass filter. You're going to take your threshold all the way to 100 and you're going to trace the outer edge. See? That gives us the shape. It's a little wonky, so you may actually even have better luck just using your little shape tool over there for anything that you can. And then if you want to try to get a more perfect circle, what you can do, I have a feeling that with Miss Sabine Elise, I have a feeling her circles are going to be half inch, and that's probably standard. So let's go to scale. We're going to scale this little circle, unlock the aspect, and do 0.5 by 0.5. Now, if we drag this here, there you go. If I can get it situated. Okay. So there are a few different ways to do it. And I was going to say, I almost feel like if you use this trace tool and you take your threshold up but not all the way to 100, trace outer edge. See, it's not so wonky then. And then if you get this little stray piece right here, we can take our eraser and just zoop, take it off. So there you have it. And then you can just copy and paste these and put them over your circles. So I'm actually going to use this because it's obviously not crazy looking like the other ones we did. And I'm just going to put those over the icons.
if you accidentally pull your whole sheet out of the way like I keep doing you can hit control Z and it'll undo your last action or you can go up here right here and hit undo and it'll put it right back where it's supposed to be it's also a good idea to save periodically save what you've done just in case something crazy happens or like my silhouette program sometimes freezes just because it wants to um, but in case you mess something up too you can just go back to your most recently saved version and keep on working and you won't lose everything you've done Okay, so you get the idea. I would finish filling those up, then I would copy and paste, not that one, this one that we made, and this is so hard to get perfect with my mouse. Okay. Finish lining off these. You know, to be honest, guys, if I have a little bit of white hangover, I don't really stress it because the planner pages are white, so it's not going to be a huge deal. Okay, so you've got your boxes cut out, your half boxes cut out. Let's do that one. And for fun's sake, let's say you've got all your circles on your icons. This little flag here is one thing that you kind of have to do the trace function. So you hit your trace box, high pass filter, threshold, trace outer edge. And obviously it's not going to be perfect. We need to erase these little dots down here where we got into the other, uh oh. Don't do that because you I erased the whole thing. Drag it over here and take your eraser. Take the smaller one. And you can just get rid of those little lines. So it's not gonna be the perfect little flag shape, but it's pretty darn close. So that is acceptable for me. Now for this, obviously, maybe, well, let's see if we can use There you go. So you can use that same shape tool to fill those in, the quarter boxes. For the flags, we're going to need to, let me try something. I know I'm going to get some of that weekend banner, but we can erase those parts. Okay. High pass, threshold, trace outer edge. See, the lines are not perfect. But they are pretty good. But see how our flags stuck together there? So let's go back and bring the threshold down. There we go. Darn near perfect, guys. And then you just erase the parts where we got into the weekend banner and the other stuff. The trace function is usually your best bet. It's just kind of tricky. Um, when it comes to, uh oh, see, select all of them and just put them right back into place.
I want to see what's going to happen when I try to do these little flower shapes. So I'm just going to select all of this just for fun. Sometimes when you try to select large amounts of things, they don't work right. Um, and some wonky things like that can happen. But it looks like this is going to do fine. Bring that threshold down so that the shapes don't run into each other. Trace your outer edge. And there you have it. All of those are cut out. Let me highlight it so you can see. So there are all of your cut lines. And same thing goes for the weekend banner. I think we should be able to use the trace function. It's probably going to cut into these teardrops a little bit, but that's okay. High pass filter. Threshold. Oh. So then we just want to take our eraser and get rid of where we ran into the teardrop stickers. Okay. And one thing that I sometimes do, I want to show you guys another trick. Okay, so say you've got this cut out and it's good. But you know, sometimes the silhouette machines can be pretty wonky and they won't cut perfectly. So I like to sometimes give my cuts an offset, especially for like more intricate designs like that. I may even would do an offset for some of these flowers, but I'm just going to show you real quick on this weekend banner how you do that. You hit this open the offset window. We want to give it an offset of let's say 0 0.03 is what I usually start with. So that gives us a nice little outline to work with. And when we put this over top, you see how much better that's going to be. And especially if your machine is not calibrated perfectly, you will have some wiggle room to work there. And then for the flag stickers, do the trace option, high pass threshold bring it down some so they're not connected and there you go and basically I think I've covered all of the sh um, stickers on that sheet and how to cut them out so you would be good to go with this sheet for your planner um, if you have any questions at all about how to do this or if you I don't know any questions just leave them below and I will try to answer if there's any other tutorials that you'd like to see with planners or the silhouette mm, I say silhouette lightly because I use mine for planner stickers. I don't get into vinyl and all that stuff. But if there's any planner related tutorials you would like to see, just leave me a comment and I will keep them in mind for upcoming videos. And I really appreciate you watching. If you like this tutorial, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button down below so you can stay in the know of when I have new videos out. Thanks guys!